Uh, let me go ahead and do these points here that we got. An intensity. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any more general ones. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Okay. Uh, we get some combat ones. This is Quen. Uh, Quen Shield pushes opponents back when it breaks. That would be useful at times. Um, uh, I kind of really do want to do like a full sign build. Maximum vitality, but I think you have to equip these, which is the annoying part. Maximum in inventory. Uh, just looking through these real quick. Each defense action generates adrenaline points. Okay. Fast attack damage increased by 5%. Uh, strong attack increased by 5. Let me ju actually just go through each one. Precise blow. Lance, uh, chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 2%. Any attack that strikes all foes in the surrounding area, maintaining the attack consumes stamina and adrenaline. That's cool. Fast attacks now also apply a bleeding effect. Affected enemies lose 25 vitality or essence per second. Uh, increased strong attack critical hit chance by 2% and strong attack critical hit by 10 or by 15. Deals additional damage in proportion to stamina. Reduces enemy damage resistance by 5%. Arrows, deflect arrows while parrying. That's cool. Uh, damage from hits received while dodging is reduced. After a successful counterattack, the next attack deals 30% damage per skill level. Okay, what was that? Oh, that one was defense. Got it. Uh, time is slowed by additional 15%. Each bullet hits its target an additional... Okay, okay. Critical hits dealt with the crossbow to save a monster special abilities. <coughs> uh, adrenaline point loss upon taking damage is lowered by 20%. What is this one? Is this to blows landed during combat generate adrenaline? Each adrenaline increases weapon damage by 10%. Okay. And dying when vitality reaches zero will be immediately consumed to restore it. The amount it is restored is based on the number. Suddenly gain adrenaline points when entering combat. Okay. Sign three general points, if available, will be consumed to upgrade the sign to the highest level, unlocking all bonuses and increasing the sign intensity by 25%. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Um, hard. Okay, so this is the, the like force push one range. Okay, alternate sign mode. Strikes all opponents in a certain radius, knocks down, is 20%, 21% lower. Intensity by 5%. Now deals 40 damage. Okay, this one is melt armor. Is this a fire one? Fiery blast, okay. Permanently weakens enemy armor. Effect scales with sign intensity to a maximum of 15%. Emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Okay. Increases that. Pyromaniac. Increases chance to burn. To apply burning by 20%. Okay. 
magic trap certain alternative is this one an alternative our enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 20 percent okay yeah it is huh so the second row is always like an alternative sign version uh intensity is increased I like the puppet one. Becomes an ally and deals 20% more damage. And reflects of absorb to the attacker. Stamina regeneration in combat plus 5 per second. That's cool. Mutagens. Um, we can take some of these. But they're not going to really do much. I think I can honestly get rid of the Sun and Stars one. And... Um, um, points increase both weapon and sign intensity. That one I can keep for now. If current stamina is too low, signs can be cast using adrenaline. That one could be possibly helpful. But our previous effect, Battle Trance now increases critical hit chance by 8% for that. Um, let's go for this one. You know what? We have it, so why might as well. And then puppet. That's the sign in its alternative mode. Old Q. Okay. Cool. Three out of three. Some of these we don't really need. The alternative sign mode. Uh, continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Eh. Or it strikes all opponents in a certain radius. Eh. Eh. Active shield maintaining it and blocking attacks strain stamina. Damaging shit. Yeah, I don't really want any of that. These I'll upgrade though. Wait, what? Oh, that one only goes up to two. Uh, you need 18 in order to get the next row. Uh, I guess we'll take the fire stream one. And then 28 for the next row. So right now we have that. All right. And then our now deals more damage. Gonna need more skill points. Let's save real quick. What's the skill point option? That should work. Yep. <laughs> Uh, one more thing, actually. Eight. Okay. Can I save the game myself? Yes, we can. Actually, let's do another one just in case. Very good. And... Oh, 
I like how these are separate, honestly. <clears throat> that way you can uh, still remain in the level that the game wants you to be and then do all their stuff. You know what? Since we have the points, might as well just unlock all these and then select the ones that we want. Is that everything? I think that's three out of three, uh, three out of five, two out of two, three out of three, three out of three, 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 five, 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 three, five, 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 great. Right, let's take these. <laughs> Special attacks. Wow, we might actually need more. Yep, we do. What is it? It is... Character. All right. Uh, alchemy. Do you? Well, let's say gum. But I don't think I'm really gonna equip any of these. What alternative stuff could they have? Make them upgrades. Whee. You know, there was, I did see a mod on, uh, Nexus games that literally just said uh, you could literally just download it and it gave you level 100 uh, save file from the start of the game so literally could have just did that but that's all right I'd rather remain the level uh, for the game so that way the enemies are still like within my level but then I can have as many abilities as I want to equip so that's what we'll do uh, all right let me actually read some of these uh, active potions enable brewing drinking of which are potions you have to like equip these okay yeah you do uh, enables creation of oils that can be applied, creation of handheld bombs, uh, enables extraction of mutagen, mutagens from a corpse of powerful monsters, which is used these to grant these bodies new ability, their bodies new abilities. So it was active mutagen that lets witchers withstand the toxicity of potions that would rather kill more normal people. Every known uh, level one, two, or three increases maximum. Okay, we consume mutagen. Increases bonus for mutagen placed in by fifty percent. So does that mean? Okay, I see. That's cool. Increases effective duration of all mutagen decorations by fifty percent. Wait, do you need to put that in there? 
Cool. Uh, so let's put in a puppet right there. And then here, casting a sign. Three adrenaline points, if not available, will be consumed to upgrade the sign to the highest level. Consume to upgrade the sign to the highest level, unlocking all bonuses and increasing sign intensity by 125%. Holy crap. Uh, what else? These are the special attacks. Best attack, strong attack, defense. How do you, I know it showed me a tutorial for the special attacks, but I need to check that again. Combat, special attacks, amount of special fast attack, hold, amount of special strong attack, hold. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if I'm going to equip that yet. So we have delusion. Increase the effectiveness of axiom and dialogues. Reduces the casting time. They fail, they stagger the target. Puppet target enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 60% more damage. Cool. Increase axiom assign intensity. Damage regeneration. Two can be influenced by axiom at the same time. Like that. Um. I'm going to put that there instead. Then, our maybe Yarden, maybe flex uh, 25 absorb damage back to the attacker. That one's cool. But I could throw in some of these. Adrenaline points lost taken is lowered by 100%. <laughs> when vitality reaches zero, I don't really need that. Uh, instantly gain one uh, adrenaline point when entering combat. Adrenaline points generated by sword blows are increased by 25%. Slow. Bolt that turret. Eh. Best attack damage is increased. Critical by 10% and fast attack. Critical hit damage by 75%. I'll take that. Best attacks now also apply a bleeding effect. So yeah, I'll take. I'll take that too. And these just gives us a little bit more health. Okay. I think we're all set on those. So, we'd be able to go ahead and continue. Summon the Lubberkin where the botchling is buried. I think we have to wait a day in order to do that. Oh, never mind. We can just summon it. <laughs> Midnight. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Follow the Lubberkin. <laughs> Lead me there, little one.
Don't stop raining my ass. Is gonna be leading us a long way. They wouldn't just run outside the city and then stop. I don't think. Unless if they like actually got killed by something. Stopped right here. Uh, wait, really? Uh, sure was the lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Uh, well, there's their clothing. Okay. They change in here. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. Sick. Sick. Let's set out. There we go. Right way. Okay. Time to follow the lovers in. Show me something more. Go, go, go. Where are we going? It's pretty far out here at night. At almost 1 a.m. Oh my god. I didn't know they exploded. Still worth a closer look. I'm trying to do my strong attack uh, jump. <sighs> I I come on, come closer. Oh my gosh I'm staggered what Getting like destroyed right now. Ow. Not good. Oh my god, dude. I keep forgetting that they explode. I can't believe I just died to them. <laughs> Probably the most embarrassing. Especially after making all those upgrades and stuff, too. <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Oh well. Hopefully we can load back in here right before we uh, we fought them. The loading times are still pretty long even on PC. Oh my god, no. No thanks. We don't have to fight that guy. Oh my gosh, he's still following us? Just 
take him out and then run. Uh, nice. Alright, there we go. Nice. Should examine that horse carcass. Oh my gosh, that was so much easier. Alright. I'm glad I know that what they do now. Alright, horsey. You got demolished. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Well, I mean, I would hope that after everything we did, that it would continue on. No, they're chasing. All right, good. They turned around. This them? A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Look who it is. the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height. About 20. Her mother's thin. About 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's oh better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought to tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, Is she going for the to knife? Herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? 
grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was okay. done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. And tomorrow in the Baron Star. Okay. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Uh, can we go find them in, where are they at? Oxenfurt? Okay. That's where we tried to go there, and they told us no. <laughs> Didn't they say somebody's here over at the Crow's Perch? I'm going to try to find them before I go back to him. <laughs> Hey there. Hey there. Okay. Uh, which way is it going to take me, though? I guess we could literally just follow the, the path until we come across a, a fast travel point. I honestly wish it would just follow the road. It is still raining. Man. I uh, okay. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop here. Please. That's weird. If you try controlling the horse by yourself, then it, it um it takes the stamina down. But if you use me, use me. Uh, if you just hold it, like get the running going, and then hold it, you don't have any other issues. It's so odd. But like something like that, like that right there, it'll take the uh, stamina down.
Okay, so now is this one of those cases where we need to go find the passage? Alright, let's see if they let me through. Alt! You need to present Farewell. Okay, now we need to get that pass. It's like Uh Okay secondary thou shalt not pass. Alright, it's on the Google. Witcher three. Thou shall not pass. Talk to Shady Merchant just south of the crossing among the refugee camp and undertake the fake papers quest. Talk to Shady Merchant. He agreed to help his brother nearby. Give you paperwork during the quest or as a reward. Wait, really? Certain quests such as Family Matters will give you the paperwork during the quest or as a reward. Isn't that the quest that I'm on? Hold up. What? Quest. Or did I complete that? No. But. But you need it to get to them. Are yeah. They're right there. Unless if I went and talked to the Baron first. I mean, I could. Alright, I guess we'll go talk to him first then. Hopefully he just gives me the pass and we can move out. I uh, so which way do I need to go? Okay, yeah, just straight and it'll take me to the settlement camp. Also, wait, did this say? It says there's a shady merchant shopkeeper just south of the refugee camp. Not sure where the refugee camp is. Talk to Shady Merchant just south on the crossing among refugee camp and undertake the fake papers quest. Try to score a deal on the papers. Uh, talk to Shady Merchant and agree to help his brother. South of the Camp. Hmm. Run, Roach. Wait a minute. Wait, I have an idea. I just realized. Will this work? I still have the mod menu up, right? And there's a teleport option in there. Wayport teleport. Okay, let's try this. Waypoint teleport. So technically, if we set one, then loading oh god 
Oh god, Roach. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, though. That's locked. I think this might have worked. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitash uh, send you, sir. Sorry. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Sup, kitty. looking for me and who might you be my father send you yeah to see if you're still alive and well I'm Geralt of Rivia I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well Geralt of Rivia better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine and now that you've seen me I bid you farewell wait we've nothing more to talk about got every right to be angry at your father but he's worried about you I have a right Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. He's trying. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And then yes. that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Uh, but you, what do you what do? What you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian Witch Hunters. Righteous, brave men. Doesn't sound They'll safe. Me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. <laughs> Who? I don't care. Who? I won't Who? go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Uh -huh. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. 
Mm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. <laughs> Back to Geralt and the cat. Ibbles. <laughs> Talk to the Baron. Alright. Is there a... Let's see. Halt! You there? Please wait! You're Geralt of Rivia, are you not? Yeah. Uh, Depends who's asking. Revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, Dorian branch. Represented by yours truly, Deputy Tax Enumerator, Walter Mormite. Honored, I guess. What seems to be the problem? In brief, undeclared income. Excuse me? <laughs> We've had reports. Numerous that over the last months you've come into a great deal of coin quickly so quickly it's raised suspicions I get how that might have happened be glad to clear them up Profession witcher monster slayer hmm. So proprietorship service sector type of services rendered rat pest monster removal Moving on, have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? No. This some kind of joke? Of course not. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? No. No, never done anything of the sort. Witcher's honor. Now, for the final question. Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Oh, a meaning? Have you ever walked <laughs> into someone's home and taken something without their permission? Ah, uh, never. No, no, never. You gotta be kidding. The Witcher's Code forbids it. I'm pleased to hear you abide by your guild's bylaws. Now, if you could wait for one moment. Compare column B to table 7. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors. A tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions. It adds up to the crown. I'll say, good sir, you are exceptionally upstanding. It'd be rude to disagree. In these times, such civic virtue is a rarity. It must be commended, rewarded. Here. What? What's this? A diploma. I bestow on you. The title of taxpayer in good standing. <coughs> I suggest you frame it. Hang it in a place of honor. <laughs> Congratulations. Can I do anything with it? Or did he just give it to me just because he's a good citizen? Are you a witcher? Something like that. Where's the armor? Yeah, it's out here. Hello, sir. Take uh, Greetings. one of your finest. I'm I, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. 
A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in't. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Falling <laughs> to a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form? Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? Show me your wares. Uh, need to craft something for me. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take the... Here's leather armor. All of these I don't think we really need. Chop. So he made the upper body portion. Can we? Okay, so that's crafting. Does anybody do? This is just chest armor. Yo, it's going on bad. How you doing, man? Move, upgrade, dismantle, shop. Hmm. <laughs> Archman. Diagram assassin trousers. <clears throat> I'm about to pick all these up. Level 11. I'll take all these. Thank you very much. Whoops. Uh, chilling. Same here. Same here. Find some good old witcher. Uh, light shirt. Don't need that. Want any of that? Hunting boots. Could take them. Could take these. Oh wait, You're crafting. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh wait, we already did crafting, but now we can have them make these. Oops. A star armor crafting component, gauntlets. Ours level twelve. Take the trackers gauntlets. Trousers. Uh, I could take these. Upgrades. Take the Axie one. Three of them. Farewell. So long. So long as I have the uh, the upper portion of this, yeah, that that's fine. Hunting gauntlets, hunting trouser. These are new. Okay. A steel weapon. Hatch it. One's better. A lot better to use. Let's equip that. Uh, I'm gonna put this into. Does this go into a weapon slot or put in socket? Gloves. 
Boots are better. Hunting boots. Boots are better as well. Trousers. I just want to forever have just hunting stuff. Hunting gloves, hunting trousers, and hunting boots. But it doesn't look like he has any of the other ones. I can check. One more time. Uh, grab something for me. Oh, that's fantastic. Cracker. Gauntlets. Junk. Yeah, he doesn't have them. That's fine, I guess. So long. I'll stop by the next uh, guy. I see, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Is there a barber here somewhere? Armor's table. In keep. To the merchant. What can I do with you for? If I tell me what you have in stock. Let me see. Need it to complete a quest. I'll buy it just so I have it. It's a dim rabbit pelt. It's a bunch of pelts. Wine. Okay. Very well. So long. Oh, 